Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civ 5 as Venice. Where you last left off, we were speeding, and very well, like, speeding towards a science victory. It's looking very, very, very good at the moment. Would you stop it, dude? You're, like, attacking and demanding things from everybody, you jerk. The CCs are so far behind, they're like, oh, what's coal? I'm like, I have oil, dude, what the heck? Okay, well, after railroad, since we're not going for militaristic, I think the best thing to do would be to rush straight for telecommunications. Except not in that way. But I want to get the medical lab in my capital as soon as possible. More growth! So railroad refrigeration, assume ecology. Yeah, okay. And then telecommunications. The artist. I can't do anything with you. So do I do golden age? No, I think I'm just gonna save you for a bit. Yeah, I should probably get a trade ship to Jerusalem now that I think about it, just to keep the pressure there up. If the pressure here is up, he's just using uh, missionaries to basically fund that. Because otherwise I should F the easy majority in this city. I'm allied but with everybody but that one guy that I haven't met yet. I'm getting over 300 science per turn from city states. That is great. can't pass through military units. It kind of makes sense, but still.
Wow, that's kind of surprising. I mean, the fact that I've I've ignored those texts and that it was a it's all the way back here, and I'm building waters all the way up here, isn't that surprising? I guess, but still, it's kind of a bummer. That's fine. Which means I'll probably just save the Great Engineer for the Sydney Opera House or even CN Tower if it looks like I'm gonna get. Actually, how fast am I going to get it? 14 turns? I'll probably just save it for the CN Tower then, just because. Me? Monaco. Oh, Jerusalem. Then Monaco. Yeah, flipping Milan. <sighs> yeah, that will be pretty effective in stelling the natural flow of Eastern Orthodoxy, I think is what that is. Nice thing, as soon as I get railroad, all of the cities that are connected to my capital are automatically going to get plus 25% production because they're all harbors, and harbors automatically... Well, I guess that's not true. Harbors automatically carry the railroad plus 25% bonus if the harbor that they're connected to has a railroad or is the capital. You jerk. Spread his religion all down through here. I, was like, I gotta wonder how much faith he has, because I'm pretty sure I've won like every single faith battle. And I have the lead here, I'm pretty sure he knows him. I have the faith there, and I know he knows him. Five pressure, beautiful. It's Poland and the Netherlands. Oh, he may have enough cash. I like research agreements, because I get a lot out of it. They gave me a great engineer. 
awesome. Now I can rush all kinds of stuff. Oh, does it actually say... Wait. No. I bought it, but why did it buy here? It's fine, because it's not that far away, but I figured it would always... Oh, but you can't buy because there's a guy in there. Oh. I realize you could purchase stuff with faith, too. In those cities. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, if you're going to have, like, religious buildings. Okay, so step number one, you get out. <clears throat> oh, we got an artillery piece, but we're going to keep that. And you're going to go in my capital. It's fine, it doesn't hurt me. Great rider in 22 turns. Great merchant in 8 turns. Pretty sure this cost does not go up. But I could be mistaken. I'm pretty sure it doesn't because... I mean, it makes sense. Like, before it made sense for it to cost... Or the cost to go up every time because... You just needed to adopt the first one of the policy in order to buy the great person. But now you have to finish it. So, I think that's a good way to balance it. Because I can't buy, like, a bunch of different people. I could... In the old game, I could buy a scientist and an engineer and a merchant with the policies that I have. Um, special tradition. Done, but... Hey! 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 What the heck, dude? Not cool. Oh, and I forgot to check the Dutch. Wederom gegroet. Ik hoor. Ja, oké. Ik geloof dat ik iets heb wat u enig belang zal. Ik geef hem zoveel science. Ik heb return. Het feit dat ik zoveel so gold heb. Ik ben fijn met het. Wat is het, Ravianche? Zo, mijn hele desire is een trade route. Back. Just gonna purchase a museum here, and then. Boop. Oh my gosh! The statue of Zeus gets built in 1726 AD! Ah, oh, brilliant! Oh my gosh, so no one went down on her until like now, apparently. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, it makes sense, because like in a normal game, I would have gone on honor pretty quickly. I didn't go down honor at all because A, I have Venice, and B, it's the ocean. I mean, there's not going to be that many barbarians that show up. Just in general. Let's see, when I get my next trade route back. Oh! I can actually buy two trade ships. I didn't even notice. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. Antwerp. You look like you can use a cavalry unit. 
Okay, I'm not at war, but that's fine. Someone mentioned that I could buy more than one cargo ship in one place at a time, which is nice. I didn't think they stacked, but they do. And let's see... Manila. How does Greece think of me? Yeah, competing for the favor of the same city-states, which is probably a lot. Where could this city-state be? It's gotta be up here. That's the only real place I can think of. Because Brazil's met them. I mean, at this point in the game, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be near Brazil, but it's the only place that I haven't really explored, too. I guess there's this little area, but still. Is there anyone that I even really need... Monaco. Mogadashu. Which I cannot trade with from here. Florence. Or Belgrade. Florence gives me more money. Wait. Florence is trading with Tyre. Okay. <sighs> Jerk. Ik geloof dat ik iets heb wat u enig belang zal inboezemen. You know, I might actually start doing that. Just because. I mean, I'm not selling my resources, I'm not training them. You know what? I think from now on, I think we'll go ahead and just do it. I don't need to worry about expansion because I can only have cities where there currently are already cities. And if they sell cities there, if I really wanted that location, I can just take out their cities then. Okay.
I cannot trade with loss of period. Just 500 gold. Oh, I am currently trading. <clears throat> I am currently trading. I was going to say, like, what? It's not on the list. Okay, so there was one that was kind of low. Sophia? Should I cannot trade with her? You know what? Let's just go for the highest gold. So trading with actual people. Or actually, no. Let's not do that. Let's move you to Florence. You sleep. Let's move you to Geneva. I'm just going to start shuttling a ton of food to my capital. Oh, seriously, he's not up here. Interesting. Okay, so we want you to go to... Where was it? Wait, I allied with him again? Here, Ogadashu. I think. The Adventus, nice and fat. I want to have unemployed citizens because that's just funny. It's just, there's nothing for us to do. Like 44 extra food per turn already. So that's enough for 22 more citizens. I just have to get my city up that big that quick. Let's see how big I can get Venice. See, can I actually get a trade ship over to Venice? Oh, I can get a land? Yeah, but I, I want naval. Yeah. So the next ship I have available, I'm also going to do that too. That's going to be so funny. <laughs> I'm going to have 33. I'm going to almost double the food. 30, like 33 or however much it is. It's ridiculous. Venice. Here's a bunch of food. If that wasn't enough. Here's some more. Huh. Okay. Just area up here that's not explored. Nice.
I killed a Greek spy. Stop spying on me. Oh. Oh my. Um. I guess come on up here. My other caravel. Uh, huh. Come on over here. I guess. Oh my gosh, I have no boosters here. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy the broadcast tower. That's a lot of, that was totally worth it. Wait, 40 great merchant points? Jeez, yeah, we got all these filled, yes. Gotta love it. All of my dials are being worked, except for one. Nancy dial. Gotta love it. So I'm sacrificing some gold per turn, but I want to see how big I can get Venice. So that's potentially up to about 100 gold per turn. I'm being a jerk to you because I don't like you. You're going for my city-states and you're competing against my religion. Jeez, he's spread out down here and everything. What the heck, man? Knock it off. You know, still buying re-engineers? Sure. There's a lot of wonders. And being able to just rush by them, considering that I have so many to build. Is it gonna hurt? Since we're gonna do in that, because you can just move back and forth real quick. We're gonna keep you there. What'd I get? Infantry. Nice. I'll have our own little standing army here in case they decide to declare war. Give Venice food. And Buddhism, apparently. Okay, uh, let's go highest gold. Sure, we'll do. Well, oh, this will actually give me pressure. You know, I kind of like this a little bit better. Bring some pressure back. Fifty gold per turn from religion. Gotta love it. You can just leave here. Now Venice is getting 75 extra food, or 91 extra food. We're getting 65 base extra food, but we have 91 total because of bonuses. Awesome. I wonder how many policies I'm gonna be able to get. So I'll drop it by 500, which will drop the next one by about 600. I'll drop the third one by about 700-ish. So that's gonna save me a total of do 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 1800, which is basically a policy. It's basically like getting a free policy in three policies, which is quite significant. Well, that's not true. <laughs> no, wait, it is. I think. We'll see. If I can get three policies, I'm pretty sure it's because the third one would be free, but whatever. I really wish they'd show you, like, oh, the policy costs this much, but you got this much off. Ooh, we got a great merchant. A lot of people recognize it. We're just going to conduct a trade mission. So I don't want to plop them down. That'd be a waste. 82, 205, 156, 250. 
I'll send you up to Brussels. You give me some Brussels sprouts. And, ooh, let's build this real quick. That boat's coming up. Policies. Free thought. Yes. Mm. There's one more science down here, too. What to do? Oh, that's not what I wanted, because I can still adopt another policy. I can adopt a one. Just the one. Should I finish rationalism? You know what? I'm going to be able to finish with the, my current tech. I'm going to be able to finish that. So let's do... We want to get penicillin and ecology. And then not telecommunications, because I'm going to rush that with rationalism. And then we're going to rush up to computers and then satellites. I like that idea. Just a wee bit better. Uh... So what was I going to do? I got distracted. All right, more policies. So get one more here. Some more gold never hurts. So if plus one gold from science buildings, does that mean that they no longer cost maintenance? No, they still cost the maintenance. So say like, does that mean that they no longer cost maintenance and they give one gold? Because that would be so OP. Policy next turn? Yeah. Which, yeah, and I'll just start going boom. I'll just hit whichever one is appropriate, or I'll save up. But we have, how many turns into, like, even rush telecommunications? Uh, 15. Wait, what am I doing? We'll go in order. 5. 10. Yeah, we got, like, 20 turns where I can even rush it. So... I think we're good with that. That sounds. Uh, that's going to be really nice. All right. Well, I'm cutting the video off here. Thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.